All right, rocket stove test zero. This is probably the simplest way to build a rocket stove and probably the least effective is my guess. My understanding of the theory is you need a bit of chimney height uh, to make that rocket happen. Uh, you preheat this area by starting a small fire in it and that creates heat going up your chimney, sucking oxygen in and then you feed sticks down your oxygen tube and that helps uh, create a better suction for the rocket stove. So this is test zero. Um, I'll probably do several of these. It's for my friend uh, Key who is working with an orphanage in Haiti and also does some visits to relief camps and we're gonna see if we can't figure out a fuel efficient way for them to boil water for safety and health and everyday use. Now what this is is a cotton ball paper towel and oops a bit of petroleum jelly all mixed in together. My uh, tinder make sure that gets going good. And I think we've basically got our little fire going there. Should keep going. And we'll just basically start feeding the sticks in this end here. And we'll see what we get for a result on trying to boil some water and how well of a rocket it makes. Yeah, I just set the pan on it. The fire is just barely going, but I think it's going enough that it'll keep going. And so we place the pan on it, and I'll take a temperature reading and time, not temperature, time reading, to see if this gets up to a boil, how long it takes. And I don't know if you can see that, but the flame is just barely licking out the side of the underneath the pan there. And I forgot to point out I'm starting off with four twigs in here as our fuel to see if we can get this four twigs to boil water. Alright, I moved the pan a little bit this way so that flame can come out the corners on the back side plus out here, which should help uh, increase the boiling speed of the water. We started at about 6.23 p.m. All right, about 6.28 I realized four twigs would not be enough fuel to keep it going. So I added a few more twigs, got the fire going again, and at 6.32 we're going off again to see if we can boil some water with six twigs now. Six sticks and a twig fire start. Alright, at about 6.55 it started to boil about how it is now, a little more aggressively. Went and got the other camera to take some stills of it and it started to boil about 6.57, 58. Went to get this camera and by the time I came back, because this camera was charging, I had lost my boil. Pretty much lost the whole fire. I had to open up these bricks to get my hand in far enough to shove I burned about half of my six sticks, shoved them inside, got the fire going again, and well, now we have a nice rolling boil there. 
Um, it's 7.03, so once you get your fire going, you can literally boil water in probably 10 minutes. The big problem I had with this whole system was I didn't get the fire going enough before I put the water on. I don't like these. They're too high. We're going to try something like this because it was really simple to put together. Although it does also very simple to fall apart. And uh, we'll see if we can't get the fire going quicker. Even so, we used uh, six sticks about two-thirds of the sticks to get water boiling and I think that's a, a good improvement over just the open flame and if we get a little more rocket going before we add the water to it uh, it'll be a lot better situation for it and there's you know there's not much of a rocket going on there because there just isn't isn't the right configuration of a stove and that's why I use this job to uh, see if it would work at all and what a poor job it would do. And that is the conclusion of experiment number zero. How to boil water using a makeshift rocket stove. Took about 30 minutes to do this. And now I'm ready for stage two which is to put the floating row cover over the top which will help heat this bed up and keep the deer from eating it if there are any deer that come through this parking lot which is I'm told there are so that's our biggest concern